So hello guys welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will mark the next installment in ongoing discussion about crystallization where in previous videos we explore about various type of crystallizers such as agitated tank crystallizer and the Swenson Walker crystallizer. In today's video we will dwell into the world of vacuum crystallizers. Here in this video we will be looking at what is vacuum crystallizer, its working, its construction, then its application in concluding the video with its advantages and disadvantages. So let's begin our discussion with what is vacuum crystallizer. As we all know that unless we achieve supersaturation the crystal formation does not take place. In vacuum crystallizers, supersaturation is achieved by adiabatic evaporation cooling. A hot solution enters a vessel where a vacuum needs to be maintained and this depends on the boiling point of the solution which should be lower than the feed temperature. As pressure is low, the hot solution flashes and evaporation takes place. The energy required for evaporation is obtained by the sensible heat of the liquid vapor mixture and which results in lowering the temperature of the liquor before it flashes off. Vacuum crystallizers generally operate continuous but they can also be operated in batch operations. Construction of vacuum crystallizer is very simple and it does not contain any of the moving part and thus we can use corrosion resistant material or lead or rubber like mild steel. So this was a brief about vacuum crystallizer. Now looking at the construction of vacuum crystallizer. We are talking about vacuum crystallizer. It consists of a tall vertical cylindrical vessel with conical bottom which you can see in the picture which is shown on the screen. It is equipped with a circulating pump that is generally a screw pump which is having a low head and a vertical tubular heater on the shell side where the steam gets condensed. A steam ejector is used to create and maintain the vacuum in the cylindrical vessel by a condenser. On this cylindrical vessel an inlet in tangential direction is provided for feeding the hot solution and a vapor outlet is provided on the top. A downpipe is also provided for discharge of mother liquor and the crystals. Now moving on with the next topic of discussion which is the working of vacuum crystallizer. So now let's understand the working of vacuum crystallizer by dividing the working procedure into segments where everything firstly begins with the high vacuum creation. A vacuum pump is used to create a high vacuum in the crystallizer. For an example, in a chemical plant a vacuum pump might be used to reduce the pressure inside a cylindrical vessel. Then comes the feed temperature and the boiling point. The vacuum created must be lower than the feed temperature but corresponds to the boiling point of the solution. For instance, if you are crystallizing a chemical compound with a boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius, the vacuum should be set to create conditions where the solution boils at this temperature. Next comes the flashing and evaporation process. A hot saturated solution is fed into the crystallizer and it undergoes flashing which leads to the evaporation of the solvent. Here in this case imagine a pouring a hot concentrated sugar solution into a vacuum chamber where the solvent which is water evaporates due to the reduced pressure. The working of vacuum crystallizer also comes with a critical operation of mixing where flashing results in bubbling that keeps the crystals in suspension. Here propellers are used to mix the contents ensuring even crystallization and prevents crystals from settling prematurely. And final stage is of product collection, where using a pump, the crystallized product is collected and subject to filtration or centrifugation, which is to separate the crystals from the remaining solution, after which the filtrate can be returned to the feed. So this was a brief about working of vacuum crystallizer. Moving on to the application, vacuum crystallizer finds use in various industries such as pharmaceutical, chemical industry, food processing industry, mining industries and many more. Where in pharmaceutical industries, vacuum crystallizer is used to purify and isolate pharmaceutical compounds. For example, it can be applied to separate and purify a specific active ingredient in a drug formulation. Then in chemical industry, in the production of high purity chemical and reagents, vacuum crystallization is employed. For instance, it can be used to obtain high pure salts or chemicals which are used in laboratory experiments. Vacuum crystallizers are also widely used in food processing industries 
where it is utilized to crystallize salt, sugar and other food ingredients. For example, it can be used in the production of high quality sugar crystals. Then vacuum crystallizers are also used in mining industries where vacuum crystallization plays a role in the purification of minerals and metals. In mining, it can help extract pure metals from the ores. So these were the four major applications of vacuum crystallizers. Now in this video, we will be looking at some of the advantages and disadvantages of vacuum crystallizer. Firstly, let's highlight some of the advantages of vacuum crystallizers. From which the first advantage is of purity. Vacuum crystallizers produces extreme pure crystals due to precise control of conditions. For instance, in the pharmaceutical industries, this ensures the production of high quality drugs. Then the other advantage of vacuum crystallizer is high energy efficiency. It operates at a low temperature which saves energy consumption compared to the other different methods. In food processing, the energy efficiency can be reduced and which leads to less production costs. The third advantage is of tailored process. The process can be customized as per the specific need of the products. For instance, in chemical production, you can adjust the parameters to obtain crystals with desired characteristics. Next advantage is about its simplicity. Vacuum crystallizers are relatively simple with few moving paths. This simplicity reduces maintenance and operational complexity. One more advantage of vacuum crystallizer is of corrosion resistant. They have the capacity to handle corrosive material as the inner surface can be made acid resistant. This is important when we are working with chemically aggressive substances. And the last advantage of vacuum crystallizer is about batch or continuous operation. Vacuum crystallizers can be operated either batchwise or continuously, which provides flexibility in the production methods. So these were few of the advantages of vacuum crystallizer. Now moving on with the disadvantages of vacuum crystallizer. However, there are some disadvantages to be considered as well, from which the first is the equipment cost. Setting up a vacuum crystallization system can be expensive. For example, acquiring the necessary vacuum pumps and vessels can require a significant investment. Maintaining the vacuum systems requires expertise and can be costly. Regular maintenance is essential to ensure that the system operates efficiently. And the last disadvantage of vacuum crystallizer is about the slow process. Vacuum crystallizers are usually slower compared to the other crystallization methods. In industries where high production rates are crucial, this slower pace can be a drawback. So these were the three main disadvantages of vacuum crystallizer. In conclusion for this video, vacuum crystallizer is a powerful technique which is used to obtain high purity crystals in various industries. It's a versatile process with its own set of pros and cons. So guys, that's all for this video on vacuum crystallizer, where we looked into what is a vacuum crystallizer, its working, its construction, application, advantages and disadvantages. So guys, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more informative video related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety, and as always, feel free to leave any questions and comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.